Yo, pen friend friends, happy Friday. I don't have much time, so I'm gonna try and keep this short, which means it'll be around 90 minutes long. Um, it is almost the three month post mint mark, which is pretty crazy. I think that makes us a long term project. Is that is that true? Is that the case? I think it, I think that's the case. And uh, I I just want to say thank you. I appreciate all of you guys. We we appreciate all of you guys who stuck around um, for all this time, even if it's been only 10 minutes since you've been here, or if it's been since mint. Um, I especially appreciate those of you who still tune into these video announcements, who still hope that one of these days one of them is going to be entertaining or informative or at least shorter and even though you know you are always going to be disappointed you keep coming back and uh, and hoping for better and um and you know for my part i keep making them and uh hoping that one of these days one of you will watch one to the end so i'm with you on the uh on the uh hopeless optimism and i think that that's the mindset that we have to have right now in this current market um, so it's good that we're uh, we're in this together. Um, looking back over the last few months, there's a lot of things that we did not get done, not at all. And then there's a bunch of things that we did get done. So I think we should really concentrate more on on those things. That would be that would be better. Um, and, and those things are things like we've animated close to 10,000 PFPs um, on Solana. I think we've had an impact on the art and animation side of things in the space. Um, both in terms of, our, of, of directly doing work for many, 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 many projects at this point. Um, but also in terms of, uh, I think, increasing the demand. Just um, You see more and more animation um, in terms of marketing materials. We ourselves have, have contributed to pre-marketing mint materials for projects like Trip and Apes and Vandal City and others. And um, in hype videos that come out there or launch videos for our part, you know, we did the game trailer for Salon Hills recently and before that we did Stone Ape Crew, um, Cheech and Chong video to to uh, sort of announce the awakening and um, and, of, and of course the full collection work that we've done and um, uh, it's been great and it, not only has it been great but it has put us in a position where we were able to um, share roughly 600 soul with the community at a time where um, you know uh, funds are especially precious because of the market conditions so um, you know w without having that viable animation services business there's no way we could have done that and there's no way with that we could have felt confident that we could continue to do that going forward um, so anyways, that's kind of very sort of quick, especially by my standards, rundown of uh, the last little while. And, and sort of as we look forward here over the rest of the summer, um, you know, we're constantly in communication with other projects and there's always things that, al that almost happen. Um, uh, we are currently animating uh, legendaries for Tombstone. That's it. That's ongoing. Um, we have finally finished all of this week all of the legendaries for um, Stone Ape Crew. Um, Stone Ape Crew is going to be doing some other art upgrades, which we will be working on them with uh, during the next few weeks. Um, also, I would say um, it, within the next two to three weeks, um, we are thanks to the legend Mr. Burns. We're going to be doing some. Uh, some uh, animation work with uh, the OK Bears, which is um, a cool opportunity. Um, uh, Mr. Burns connected our team and their team, and um, they're sort of facilitating uh, an opportunity for us where we deal directly uh, with um, Bears holders in their Discord. Um, so we're gonna do a, a whole bunch of prep work. Um, to animate all 10,000 bears, and we know that not everyone, not every bear holder will opt in, but that's okay. It, it makes more sense for us to do them all, and um, and then we will have sort of a marketplace um, set up where um, a bear holder will come in, a bear holder will pay 
a price which will be significantly less than the current the going rate for one of ones which is for us is five soul at present and it'll be something like a tenth of that and instead of having a turnaround time of four or five days um, the turnaround time will be 10 seconds so um, as a holder you will be receiving um, a quality animation um, for a fraction of the price and you'll be receiving it immediately and I think like that combination of things is like is is a winning formula instant gratification that's um, that's cheap um, and I think having exposure to that influential high-profile project is great and especially in this bear market as you know we've discovered all these different projects they tighten up the purse, purse strings, right? When, when things get like this and they look at things like upgrading art to animation is clear luxury that you're just, those, the luxury items are the things you're gonna cut first when you're trying to um, uh, just hold on for dear life. And um, so, uh, you know, a setup like this where it's not project funds that are being used, but it's uh, holder funds, um, it's a model that can work beyond the bears. If it goes well with the bears, I, I think it'll go well anywhere that we choose to do it. I also wanted to talk to you about Camp Solana um, and uh, fill you in on some details about uh, where where that project is at and what that project is all about. Um, you probably heard at this point that um, one pen friend equals one camper, uh, one free camper. Um, and the, the, the truth is that there are 10,000 campers in the collection and that they're, they will all be free. It is a free mint. Um, and you might say, well, that really cheapens the, the value of uh, my pen friend as a camper. And you would be right. Um, however, you have a more vested interest in the collection than that. And I'll, I'll explain that in a minute. While the, while the minting itself is free, the collection and the project functions as it's a story driven event that has a jackpot at the end. Um, so there, someone is going to win a significant sum of money. There'll be some minimum that that will be, but that pot will grow as people purchase items. Because for each camper, um, there will be three item slots. And while it is possible to win as a camper who never purchased any items, um, the items are, are completely optional. Um, you are more likely to win if you equip items, like I said, up till three, up to three, um, on your camper. Uh, and those items cost soul. So um, there will be item sales, there will be revenue, and um, the pen friends 25% that that uh, cut that uh, pertains to animation services is also going to come into play here. Um, it's not technically an animation service that we're providing for another project, but you know everything that we do with pen friends we're, we do together, and that's just the way that's the way we, we look at things, and that's the way we want to do things. So. Um, as much as you are receiving a free camper and it doesn't necessarily have a mint value to it, um, you do have a vested interest in the project doing well, in a lot of items selling, and um, both in terms of raising the profile of pen friends, in terms of us providing a unique and fun and different experience that has new mechanics, I think, it's safe to say, has some experimental mechanics in it that may or may not work. Um, but also there will be a direct financial benefit to you as a pen friends holder, um, which I think is important to mention at this point. Um, I, I don't want to say too much more about it, just uh, for now, free mint that will be mostly um, directed at thanking um, projects that have worked with us in these past three months so any project that has hired us to do any amount of work um d gods for example stone ape crew for example stone frogs tombstone grim syndicate chippies it's a big list right and um each of those will receive an allocation of campers and it is entirely up to the individual who mints if they opt into purchasing items or not and we recognize that uh, 
a significant portion may not. Um, but we also believe that um, as the story unfolds, as the project unfolds, people become more um, invested in ways other than money, in, in ways of just their interest level and, um, and desire, I think, to go far and to win, I think um, will we'll help drive demand for those items and to try and get an edge and to try and win. Um, because as much as there is a, a jackpot at the end, which will, like I said, will be significant, but there are a couple other things as well, which will be pretty cool. And um, uh, and even the collection itself, it's a fully animated collection. That's a free mint, something we haven't seen before. And um, I think that's gonna be pretty cool. People want one. Um, because I think it's maybe the start of a new way of, of uh, a new format of collections potentially and um and we'll see what works and what doesn't but anyways i don't want to say too much more about it because i'll probably say something i shouldn't i may have already done that before i go I, I i also want to mention a huge thank you to lngk and all the work that he put in to create the hunt for the gray masks um which is just blew my mind in terms of its scope and its depth and how difficult it is someone has just made it to the end but uh, we're talking about 50 some odd hours um, since the game went live before someone um, found their way through it and uh, uh, any of you who um, tried to get there you know uh, how difficult the game is how challenging how many uh, legal pads were um, sacrificed themselves in search of the gray masks and um, I, I can't think LNGK enough for what he did and uh, it's unbelievable I I hope that he releases a walkthrough video and that um, you guys take some time and um, and watch it and and uh, and try and make your way through the game and just use it as needed for certain hints um, just so that more people get to see uh, how much work he put into this I realized that um, you know I could pretend that like oh this is a pen friends we we did this is a pen friends game it's like no it's not that would be completely disingenuous this is lngk's baby he nailed it he did an amazing job and uh i can't thank him enough and um i i know <laughs> it's weird that something that brings so much frustration to so many uh is something that uh we should be thankful for but in this case it actually is appropriate these people are all masochists I think deep down that are subjecting themselves to hours of mental torture and uh, so this is as much as this is their pain this is also their pleasure so we owe uh, LNGK a debt of gratitude and um, holy cow even a thank you I can go on and on can't I it's just it's, just, it's what a, what a gift you're you're so lucky all right um, let's cut it off for the uh, at there yeah, let's. And uh, until next time, um, pen friends for life.